The NBA MVP, the most prestigious award in all of basketball, it can make or break your legacy. It helps players like such as James Harden and Russell Westbrook get their legacy up there without a ring. Today we're going to be looking at top 5 candidates for the MVP in the 2019 season. What up YouTube, it's your boy SD back with another banger, let's get into the video. Number 5, Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving's probably going to have the best team in the East next year with the Celtics. They're probably going to win over 60 games, get the number 1 spot. So this is definitely going to help this case, especially since the MVP goes to the best player on the best team. And 60 wins usually does help it, like look at James Harden last year. If he didn't get over 60 wins, probably would have went to LeBron. And then on top of that, he's probably going to be the leader of the team next year. Unless Gordon Hayward all of a sudden takes a bigger role and Jason Tatum somehow becomes a superstar of the team, he's going to be the leader of these guys. And as long as he's averaging 26-27 points per game, I see him being in the MVP race, especially because he wanted to be the man. He came to Boston so he could leave Cleveland and not be in LeBron's shadow. So if he can take over and average that many points per game, who said he can't be in the MVP race? But the thing is, he must dominate. He can't have all these other guys like, they're so full of talent, he has to be the number one guy there. They give MVP to the greatest player on the best team, not a good player on a good team. Last but not least, he gotta stay healthy. He only played 60 games last year and he gotta make over that 70 mark to be MVP. He can't miss a quarter of the season. Plus, he can't miss long periods of time. If he misses, he only can miss like 3-4 games in a row at max, unless he's balling out every other game averaging about 30 points. Number 4, Kawhi Leonard. This year he really needs to prove himself, especially since he's entering a contract year. The media was all on him last year with the Spurs saying he's healthy and him saying he's not healthy, so it's really going to come down to this season to see what happened last year. And to get the media on his side, if he balls out, it's going to be like, well, he was hurt and he might not have been like treated properly in San Antonio. So especially since they said he's happy in Toronto, he could end up balling out like a lot of guys who play in a good environment that are happy where they're at, they usually end up having their best years of their career. And on top of that, he hasn't won the MVP yet. They don't like giving the MVP to the same player multiple times. Look at LeBron, Kareem, and Michael. They couldn't get any more than 4-5 or five because, and for Kareem's sake, 6 because the MVP was like, we are trying to get someone else to get it now. And then on top of that, it's like his time to take over the East. LeBron's not there, so he can easily be the man there. And as long as he's averaging 27, 28 points per game, he can definitely do it. And now he's not stuck in the San Antonio Spurs system where his touches are limited and he can't be the man. He's in Toronto, and Toronto, for all we know, can give him the ball every single possession so he can be stat padding. The only other player that can be better than him in the East is next on the list. Number 3, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Giannis has improved each and every season in the NBA. There hasn't been a season where he stayed constant or declined, which is very important because if he's going to increase from last year, he's having MVP type numbers, possibly even historic type numbers. And that's important because those numbers are sometimes what can make or break you. Like look at Russell, he didn't have a top team, but he had amazing numbers, triple double, and that's what won him the MVP. And Giannis, I don't see the Bucks being top three. I think Philly, Toronto, and Boston are better. And I don't know if they're going to hit 50 games with that roster because they lost Jabari Parker. Chris Middleton's their second best player tied with Eric Bledsoe, and they still have many needs on them. They don't have another star to pair up with Giannis, so the wins are not going to be there. So stats are what's going to come down to, and he's very good at putting up amazing stats. He's put up amazing stats through his whole career, and some of his stat lines are out of this world, so you never know with Giannis. And especially with this freak athleticism, he can definitely be the new king of the East. Who says he can't? Because usually these guys in the NBA who are the king are usually not human. Like, what I mean by that, they have athleticism that's never been seen before. And LeBron, he was super athletic. A big man with athleticism like crazy with the point guard's passer vision. So Giannis could be this guy who's 7 foot, runs like a guard, he can lift like a big, he's lanky. This is crazy. So I definitely think Giannis has a good chance at winning the MVP in this upcoming season. Number 2. Anthony Davis. Anthony finished third in MVP voting last year. I definitely think if he had more wins, he could have been higher up. And one of the major things that made him up there was how he played after DeMarcus Cousins went down. And he doesn't even have DeMarcus Cousins on his team this year. So he's definitely going to have better numbers. He's probably the best big man in the league right now. And he's probably going to be the best big for years to come. And he doesn't have an MVP. And once again, I like to say, the media loves a narrative. So getting Anthony Davis' first uh, MVP is going to mean a lot to them. And he's motivated now. Like his best buddy, DeMarcus Cousins, he balled out from the All-Star game, wore his jersey, and just left him to, for $5 million. And like the, his team offered him $40 million. So Anthony Davis is going to be motivated to come after this season. I remember after All-Star break when DeMarcus was out, 
Anthony Davis put up amazing stats. He was having like 30, 40 points per game, which is crazy. But I think one of the biggest things with Anthony Davis is once again, he's gonna have to put up amazing stat lines and I don't think he can put a triple double because I've never seen a big man with his type of skill set do it because he's not gonna get 10 assists or 10 blocks per game. So he needs to get more wins. And the way for him to get wins, he's gonna have to finish top four. So that means knocking the Thunder, Rockets, Lakers, the Warriors out of that top four. And maybe if he gets 50 wins, he'll get a legit debate. Number one, LeBron James. LeBron probably has the best story out of all of them. He's joined the biggest brand in basketball, the LA Lakers, and he's the best player in the game right now, especially since he's chasing after the GOAT. And to get up there, he needs to get more accolades and MVPs and championships. And the MVP will definitely tie him. He's gonna have five, Jordan will have five, and the media will love that, they'll eat that up. And especially he's the end in his uh, 16th season in the league, so a 16th year man in the league getting MVP, that's just gonna be crazy. Especially will be with his third team. And he's not doing it with other stars on his team. Who's the second best player on his team? Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball. It's not like he has crazy guys on his team right now. And that's another thing that's gonna help him. He's gonna put up amazing stats because this team is better than Cleveland, so he won't have to do as much on the offense and the court. He can play better defense, which is a big knock against him in Cleveland, so he definitely can do it now. And it's gonna help him tie with the GOAT, especially because I don't know if he can win a championship this year because Golden State is going to probably annihilate everyone with their five all-star lineup and he can time him with getting an MVP because that can consider a success this year. Last but not least, like, just putting up amazing stats because he did last year. He put 27, 8, and 9 up and he just needs to put like, I say, 30 points per game and well around the stats. He could definitely do it. Maybe not even 30, 28, 29 and he can definitely get MVP. So I think LeBron James will be the MVP of this upcoming NBA season. Thanks for watching, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notification when I post. I'm out.